Welcome to Tumble Home Learning's NetLogo Hack Tutorial. This hack comes from uh, one of our books in the Galactic Academy of Science series, which is a series for science and engineering learning for young children. And the name of this book is called The Harrowing Case of the Hack and Sack Hacker. And this tutorial can be found in the appendix of that book. So first I'm going to show you how to get the program NetLogo. And first you want to go to tumblehomelearning.com or www.tumblehomelearning.com and search on our search uh, bar up on top for NetLogo. And you'll see the first thing that pops up is our NetLogo hack. And what you're going to want to do is scroll down a little bit on that page and find the link to Northwestern University's NetLogo program. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's a free program. It's got a nice little uh, red arrow icon. So I'm going to assume that you uh, download it and you installed it successfully on your operating system. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this code, the sample code that's uh, up on top of that, um, that page there, that hack page there in, in THL's website. And I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into the NetLogo program, which I've already installed. I'm going to put it into the Code tab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few buttons here. First button I'm going to add, I'm going to enter the command Startup. I'm going to make sure that that button runs forever, that command runs forever and I'm going to put the display name start so you'll see start on that button as the label and I'm going to uh, put another button up there called uh, clear so I'm going to enter the command CA which means clear all and you're going to see clear uh, is the name of that button um, and what that's going to allow us to do is to stop the program and clear the palette when we need to so what I've done here is I've started the program and you can see the normal operation of the program uh, from the sample code that's, that's uh, uh, up on top of that Tumble Home Learning uh, website page there. And this is the normal operation. And I'm going to just pause it. And you can see what it does is it makes a bunch of, um, a bunch of circles, a bunch of multicolored circles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to delete the semicolon in front of what we call the first hack there. And what I've done there is I've, I've uh, uh, I've changed one of the numbers in the interest of time to make sure that the uh, the hack happens a little bit faster. So I've gone ahead and clicked on the start button, and you can see that uh, it looks like the program is uh, is running normally. And what's ultimately going to happen here is the program is just going to stop on its own. So you see that was a very simple hack. All it did was it stopped the uh, the program from running. So I'm going to go back into code into the code tab and I'm going to put a semicolon back in front of that hack. I'm going to go down to the second line and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, remove the, uh, the semicolon from that hack and we're going to run that little program and see what that one does. And all these uh, individual hacks start out the same way. They all start out with the, the normal operation of the program which makes these, uh, these multicolored uh, colored circles here. And you can see here what it does is it makes a, a whole bunch of random uh, colors that fill up the entire screen. And if you let it run forever, these uh, colors will keep smudging uh, all over the place. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the palette again. And I'm going to, now I'm going to remove the semicolon from that third hack. And we're going to start that one. And if you want to reduce the time uh, of any of these, uh, what you want to do is, is uh, change those numbers, like 20,000 and 15,000 and 10,000. You want to change those numbers uh, and make them lower so that the, uh, the hack will happen just a little bit faster. And as you can see up on top, there's a, there's a speed adjustment as well. So you can see that hack that just happened basically made a whole bunch of triangles, spinning multicolored triangles. Uh, that, that spin in a circle um, around the, uh, the, the normally operating program underneath. And what I've done here is I've just changed one of the, the numbers in that particular hack, forward uh, 50, I've changed it. Uh, I've changed the number around a little bit. Um, and here I'm going to change another number, and you can see uh, that what it does is it, it makes a, a bunch of interesting geometric patterns. 
And so you can feel free to, uh, to play around with this yourself, change some of the numbers, change some of the angles, and take a look at the NetLogo uh, programming language, and see if you can try and make your very own NetLogo hack. For more information on this tutorial, or the book that it's based on, visit www.tumblehomelearning.com. Thank you for watching.